Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, the OPZ, um, it's got 16 tracks. We have um, four drum tracks, four synthesizer tracks. We have two master effects. We have a tape effect, so we can do tape stops and tape jumps. Um, we have a master transpose that lets you transpose um, within key. It's quite clever the way it does that. And then we have a punch-in effect, a lot like the uh, like the pocket operators. They have the punch-in effect. So this is very similar. You know, if I want it to loop, and we get visual feedback with the display. I don't know if you can see that. Change the to the front facing. There's a yeah. There's a. Which, and so, in some ways, it's almost like um, the OP1, but with an entirely added video section? No, so that's no. the key, that's the okay. beauty, let me get to that. Um, so, the thing about this, the OP1, you record to tape. You record to tape and that's fixed on the tape, and we got sequences in there and so on, but this is all about the sequencer. So we do everything using the sequencer that's built in, and the sequencer is a lot more robust than most sequencers in that sense. So, but if you come and have a look, I can... Um, I can go to an empty pattern. We can delete this. So now there's nothing in here, okay? So I'm gonna choose a kick. Choose a kick sound that I like. I'll sequence that. And that's 16 steps. But let's say I want that to be 11 steps. So now that's an 11 step sequence. Go to my snare. I don't know if you can hear this, it's quite quiet, sorry. So now I can have the snare and that's 16. So we've got polyrhythm. But you know, you, there's a lot of things that can do polyrhythm these days, but what's really interesting, we have 16 step components. Um, they're moving around, we're still in beta, so they may change. But for example, one here, this is a ratchet. A ratchet is where you have a sequence, for example, that's four steps. And you want step three to play four times, it then becomes an eight step sequence. So you can do really interesting things with ratcheting, you can do repeats, you can do... Um, like play X amount of bars and so on. And we have 16 of those, they may change, but um, it means you can go really deep with the sequencer and get really complicated if you want to, or keep it really simple if you like. But it gives you a lot of depth to sequence things. And you can do that per track on all the tracks. Cool. And so um, you're talking about uh, software revisions when you say things might change? Yeah, I've got, I mean, we're, in, we're still in beta. Okay, so, you know, this isn't the final ship unit we might change how some of the visuals look, we might change some of the internal internals of how it's all set up, but um, you know, in some, still in, in a sensor sequencer. Cool, some kind of timeline for a release? At the moment, no, time. sorry. Uh, soon, <laughs> hopefully, but um, at the moment, no. Apologies. Sure. Yeah. And, and could you tell us a little bit about the, the video side of it? So the video side's interesting. Um, th there's two aspects of the video side. One that we've shown before at NAM and so on, that's uh, Photomatic. And that works by sequencing photographs that are on your phone or on your, your laptop or whatever device you're using. And you can live take photographs using the device to control that. And then um, you can sequence them, add effects, and it'll be in time with the music and run with the sequencer. And you can use the same kind of sequencing method to use on other tracks. And that's the Photomatic. But then we also have this thing called Motion, um, which will work hopefully with Unity eventually. Um, for the moment, um, I don't, if I, I'll show you if you look at the screen up here. Yeah. What we have now, this is just a, this is just a, a sort of an example, but um, I can, uh, this is an overview of your track. So you can zoom in, see your ADSR, which step you're on, it's not playing now, so it's not showing your steps. You can see the blue dials moving, because I'm moving the blue dials, they rotate. You get an overview of everything going on, and um, you can sequence this, and when you play, you know, it all starts and it runs. So if you're in a club, you want some live visuals, you can use this to do everything. But it also has DMX protocol, so you can also connect with lights or smoke machines, those kinds of things, and sequence that as well. So it's basically, you know, it's a tiny box, you've got an entire live show. Um, There's a lot of fun to play with. So, thank you very much New Zealand. Uh, hopefully we'll be down there for some workshops and some activities soon. That'd be great. Take care.